Welcome back. Uh, hello? Yes, um, Kaiser Foundation, catching them young. We've always talked about catching them young. Well, here is one real life catching them young. Inculcating the culture of entrepreneurship into young people is beginning to take shape. Most schools now tell their students to learn a skill whenever they're on vacation. Kaiser Foundation for Social Development has taken a bold step to allow secondary school students have a first-hand knowledge of building construction. Wow. Kaiser Foundation organized a summer class with the theme, Construction Can Be Fun. Now, the children are going to tell us how much fun it really was. Construction. Uh, it can be fun. That's kind of heavy, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, we have um, the CEO of Kaiser Construction Limited, Mr. Engineer Iguan Okaizabo. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. And he's come along with the COO, Jamila Fani. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thanks and morning. the students who went to have fun in construction, well, two of them are here with us um, Ad uh, Adamsin Olanri Waju. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Victoria Oshideru. Good morning. Oh my God, a girl was also there having fun on the construction yeah. site. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, then, good morning and welcome. Yes, ma'am. Now, Ibuan, Kaiser Construction, catching them young. Construction can be fun. Can you please just connect all those dots for me? Yes, indeed. Construction can be fun. We, we set up the foundation knowing that youth development was in decline. And we felt that the right thing to do was to empower these youths and stimulate their interest in construction so that they end up in the construction industry. Can we just, do we have to call it construction? Can we just call it building? <laughs> well, it's fun. Build, construction is much more than just buildings. Okay, so it's infrastructure. the whole works. Okay. Infrastructure. So we're talking about buildings and infrastructure. Yeah. And um, for us, the reasons why we're doing this, first and foremost, we're a company that likes to do good. That's the CSR part. We like to do good. We like to you know, positively impact in our community. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we think that by doing this, that we will improve and increase the local content in the construction industry in the years to come. Because Adamson and Victoria are the ones, are the leaders that are going to develop the construction industry in Nigeria in the years to come. Mm. And by stimulating their interest at this time, the most probably we end up in the construction industry. On Sunday when they came into camp, we asked them what they wanted to be. And most, about 30% of them already knew they wanted to go into the construction industry. But by last night, that figure moved to about 70 after one week. So children, they just want to learn. They are looking for information. Yeah. And then lastly, for us, I, I think we like to seek the common good. Adamson might end up in working for any of the Kaiser companies. Maybe Victoria might work elsewhere. So by doing what we're doing, we're trying to develop the sector and create a shared value. And businesses are there to make profits. But then, when we also make social impact in the process, then I don't know a better way to do business. Okay. Now, Jamila, yes. um, how did you conceive of this idea of bringing young people into construction, and when did it start? Okay. Um, earlier in the year, I, you know, we usually have quarterly um, management meetings, and during one of the management meetings, we're just thinking, what can we do? What can we do? We actually thought about um, getting having an artisan school, you know, because we we generally have a decline in quality of artisans you know so we thought, oh, awesome yes <laughs> so we thought about we thought about um, doing that but then there was an an old um, students association uh, anniversary that happened and i mean sorry uh, an an 50, 50, 50, 50 yes at um, FGC Wari, which is the alma mater of the um, vice chancellor um, uh, vice chairman he went there and um, 
he had i think they had they had they had a career talk and some of the kids came around to him the students came around came around him after he finished um, talking to them about entrepreneurship and engineering and you know they wanted to know how can they be civil engineers how can they be this how can they be that and then you know it clicked for him immediately he came back and you know told us about it during the management meeting we were all on board with it so of course we now start to i mean started um, beefing up planning. the idea you know planning mm. what what um, age group should we look at who are the set that we can impact most on so we um, worked with the gs3 to ss3 that is the ss2 that are moving into ss3 now because they are the ones that are just you know getting ready to write their jam and um get ready for for their careers so yes that was so this is the first time this is the pilot scheme this is the first one okay. and something okay. cool, so you know? how, many, right. how many of them do you have there there were 32 of them 32 from, from different schools from seven schools in lagos no no okay. fgc worry um, junior of secondary school, school Guarim Park. <laughs> yes, uh, um, we are going to move it to other schools too. Okay. Um, uh, junior secondary school, junior secondary school Guarim Park, Isaleko Grammar School, which is uh, Isaleko Senior Secondary, which is um, uh, Adamson School. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I just have to quickly go through Lagos State Mem uh, Model Co um, College, Badori, Magbon Aladi Grammar School, Ibejuleki, Government Senior College at Kitwekbe, Lagos State Senior Model College, Ibon Laibe. So, you know, we're just, we're, we, we just looked at a cluster in Lagos, but we're moving into other clusters, you know, in subsequent um, um, editions. How long were they with you? One week. From Sunday last week, Sunday 4th, and they all went home. To, I mean, most of them went home to the end. The, the remaining two will go home later. Oh, you, you kept them for an entire week? Yes. My God, Adamson, <laughs> tell me, what was your experience in construction? <laughs> I learned many things, <laughs> such I'm as... Such as form work, how um, we can how we can use waste product to create something good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not going to just well, accept well, that. Well, and well, this. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> I like that part about the waste product. Tell me the detail. What waste product and what did you do with it? For example, carton, mm -hmm. broom, mm -hmm. mashes, cardboard. What did you do with broom? With broom, we use it to do the roof. We were roofing of the house that we build. You, you actually build a house with waste? Yes. Uh, uh, Victoria, <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> we also build a house in our group. I shared it to different mm -hmm. groups. Okay. So build a house, some did bridge with um, waste products like cardboard, um, plastics. Uh, Who also... designed it for you? We designed it by a team. Houses. How do you build it? the houses you built? Are they M model houses model that, look, look, that I can put on this table? Yes, portable house. Okay, models. A person can avoid. Um, a pop person can avoid. Okay. Now you have gone and done construction can be fun. Now, what are you going to tell your mother when you get home? That you want to go again? That you want to be an engineer? You want to end, go into construction when you finish school? What kind of, you know, what was your conclusion at the end of, of this course? Course To know about myself and my grant, to engage in activities that will make me to um, achieve my goals. And also in choosing a career, I should consider three things. What I am good at, what, I can, what the world needs, and what I can be paid for. What well, you can be paid for? Yes, exactly. What about you? First of all, the construction was fun. We visit many sites. And also when I get home, I'm going to educate my fellow students on construction. And I've concluded to be an engineer in the future. So because of this one week you spent with them, you made up your mind you're going to be an engineer. Yes, ma'am. Well then. Um, there's I, something I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> there's something she said. Ibuan, let me let me ask you this. There's something you said about using waste products to build models, but you said something about houses that even the poor can achieve. Tell me about that. Are they going to be building, are you teaching them to build, I mean, large enough houses from waste that the poor can achieve? And how would that work? Well, we try to teach them to be innovative and, and to think outside the box. Because going forward, they are the ones that are going to come up with the affordable houses. I told them that Nigeria has a housing deficit of 17 million. And with a population of 180 million, with 45% below the age of 15, 
they have to come up with a way, a cheap way of building houses for themselves. So they have to be the problem solvers, the critical thinkers for the future. So we, we, we got them this project. It was a competition. And I think Adamson, your set your group came second, right? Yes. So they had prizes. So they worked late to three, four AM looking for solutions out of waste. So we, we they needed to be innovative to, to think outside the box to create value out of waste. So that was just one of the projects they did. Yeah. But of course, before then, they had attended lectures and... Oh, they, yes. They, 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 had, they had lectures in civil engineering, um, mechanical ele engineering, electrical engineering, safety, quality management, project management, logistics, logistics wow. and procurement, the different areas of construction, Curious. quantity surveying, yeah, and I tell you, I have some potential construction... You mean, you mean the, these yeah. guys... Went through all of it. Wow. Within 24 hours, we were speaking construction terminology. <laughs> I was shocked. I was, I was so, I, after the first 24 hours, I couldn't believe it. They were just soaking up information like a sponge. So, so they and how, how did that make you feel? I was so, so fulfilled. Yes. One of the most fulfilling weeks of my life. It wasn't, it wasn't a wasted week at all. Uh, Gemini, you sound really excited. Oh, yes. But yes. Oh, before you, you tell us about your excitement, we'll go on a quick break. Gemini will tell us what excited her the most. Don't go away.